All right, let's learn about the valid enneagram problem from the lead code challenge 242 and we are uh, asking to basically validate uh, if the s and the t strings are anagram to each other uh, in this case um, the anagram is basically they have to be they have to have uh, same string length and also their letter must be uh, exactly the same and they must use only exactly once in a, each string and uh, yeah, so in this case, it will be lowercase uh, from A to Z. Okay, let's use our uh, Python. So we will have uh, a function called is and uh, it's valid anagram. So we will have x string and then t string. We will return our boolean value, and then we will return. Uh, true if the logics are working correctly um, and then we will test our uh, functions so in our functions we will have these two compare against each other so we'll be right here okay and let's get rid of this one copy this and then it will be cat and car right cat uh, car and red, sorry. Car and red. So after that, we will compare against each other if their length are the same or not. If they're not the same, then there's no point of comparing, uh, checking if the strings are uh, valid anagram. So return true or uh, false if they are not the same length. After that, we're going to need our hash map for um, basically collecting frequency of our s string so uh, for char in s then uh, if our characters in our string and it's not in our hash map uh, then we will have to uh, start initializing with one right so that will be equal to one okay else we will if already exists then uh, we will start counting the frequency of the characters and that will be our uh, first logic and copy and paste it there and here and we're going to compare against the key string to the hash uh, key value pair of our s string so that will be the frequency of our, the frequency of our s string characters and if the uh, characters already exist in our hash uh, key value pair the dictionary then we will start decrementing and the frequency of the s string okay so uh, if it's not in our hash map then we will return false and that's it that's our logic and it will take the big o off and come time complexity because we use um, for loop and uh, space complexity will be big o of one because we access directly to the data and yeah okay so oh let's see this in actions so there you go true and false 